when I was at that same high school, um, we had, it, it was a very fortunate atmosphere. It was very like, very much like fame. Like, I mean, as silly as that sounds, I mean, we, we weren't like, you know, we didn't break out into group song, but there were in like the hallway where I was studying, you know, people doing scenes in the hallways and dancers walking in full ballet gear. And there were statues built by the students in the courtyard. And, you know, and it was very much a wonderful creative environment. And because of that, on the rare opportunity that films would stop through Jacksonville, Florida, uh, we would get some of their people to come and talk to us, or the, if somebody was doing a play, the actors would come talk, etc. And this particular time, a film was being directed by a gentleman named Peter Weller, who was, uh, you, you will know better as, um, as the bad guy in the new Star Treks, in the first couple, um, you know, the guy, the general who was running Chris Pine, and he was also famously Robocop, the very original Robocop. So this guy comes in and we all know that he's Robocop and, um, and uh, the very last thing that he tells us to a bunch of high school kids, by the way, this is a really serious story, but he sits with us and he says, he tells us this tale of Marcus Aurelius as the Roman empire or, or as, as the emperor of the Roman empire. And he had this deal where when a big battle would be won, his general that won the battle, had to ride through this grand parade through the streets of Rome. And they would throw this gigantic celebration and it was required that they went through and they you know, were exalted and experienced it. But if you know Marcus Aurelius, he was also a great philosopher. So the other thing he required, he said, you have to get the fanciest of the fanciest of all your chariots, the nicest of the nice of all your horses. And you have to get the poorest of the poor though, the dirtiest of the dirty, the most worthless of the worthless of your slaves. And they have to stand next to you in that chariot while you're going through this parade. And the entire time he will be whispering to you, all glory is fleeting. And it was a beautiful kind of way to set it up for me that you can't, you can't, no matter how much success you have, no matter how you know big you might feel in your brain, it will all disappear at some point. You know, whether it be to the worms or whether it be, you know, the following year or to critics or to whatever, but that it's all going to disappear. So enjoy it, but stay grounded with the function of it and keep focused on what you should be focused on, which is not the parade. Um, uh, it's the work. So, so I like that one.